So uh, I want to start out by, uh, after welcoming you, making sure that you really feel welcomed. It's, I think it's actually a, a rare experience in life when we feel welcome to a place. So I'm really happy that you're here and uh, whatever you had to do in your schedule or your time to, to get here. So thanks for that. So let me start out um, by giving you the biggest picture of, uh, of integral coaching and the whole idea. The idea of integral coaching is to have a big enough uh, way of approaching the world so that everything can fit into it, so nothing gets left out. Uh, because it's the things that we, left out, we leave out and the things that we neglect that end up being the problem. There's many people in the room, for example, who feel marginalized already because they're uh, the wrong color or they're the wrong gender or they're from the wrong place in the world. They get left out. And um, there's other of us who are too young or too old or too, for example, I often get left out because I'm too well-dressed. <laughs> that, was, that was a joke. Uh, so integral coaching, the idea is to give us a framework within which we can think, within which we can understand our clients, and within which we can design so nothing gets left out. Uh, the, secret of, uh, the secret purpose of New Ventures West that I represent that you can't let out is um, what we're really trying to do in the world is reduce suffering. Um, I don't know about you, but I can't stand how much suffering there is in the world. I, I have a very difficult time, now, of course, watching the news, but also just walking down the street and looking at people's faces is really difficult. And uh, this place, the States, is way better than most in terms of uh, how much people are suffering, at least on the physical level. So uh, you can't tell people that because we have to have a business focus and be results oriented. But secretly, what New Ventures West is about is reducing suffering. So a correlate of that is that suffering happens because life is pulling us in different directions. We are pulled, uh, we have opposing commitments. We have parts of life that we can't find a way of relating to. We have people in our life that we can't find a way to relate to. That would be bad enough, but we have parts of ourselves that we can't figure out how to relate to. And some of the exercises we'll do a little bit later today will give you a chance to look at that. Do you know what I mean when I say there's parts of us that we can't relate to? Like some of us um, wake up in the morning and we step on the scale and that number we cannot relate to. <laughs> or um, we look at our, uh, I have pictures on my desk at work of my daughter who's now 17 when she was four. So I look at that picture and oh, she's so cute and holding her kitten and everything and then I look at her now and it's hard to relate. Things keep changing, of course. But also um, we are, um, we get fixated on certain things that we like and we leave out the rest. So that's the idea. Can we come up with a big enough way of talking about everything so nothing gets excluded and from there can we design something so that there's less suffering? So integral coaching means integrating all aspects of our life and I always think the, the place to start our coaching work is with ourselves. So as we start to feel more inclusive with ourselves then it's easier for us to be inclusive of others as we go out. As an example, anybody ever here been in, involved in a big, say, re-engineering of an organization? Yes? Thank you very much. Uh, re-engineering comes from quadrant four, where all the engineers live. <laughs> it's the world of numbers. And can you see it? And can you count it? And if you can see it and you can count it, it's real. And everything else is the soft stuff that you know, we, we, we sort of have to pay lip service to. But you know, if engineers had their way, there actually wouldn't be any people in the world. <laughs> That's not as funny here as with other groups of engineers. <laughs> <laughs> they get it. They get it. Like people invent software that gets ruined by people using it. So numbers. 
So uh, reengineering keeps failing because they forget this thing called uh, wh where business lives is in culture. And what keeps uh, defeating it is lack of skill in culture. And not only that, individual people have to start believing in it and changing their actions. You know, Levi's the people make the jeans. And they uh, had this three-year uh, contract in their or two-year contract, and the job was to reduce the amount of time it took for an order of jeans to arrive in the store. So they order the jeans, and it goes through their system, and it gets manufactured and shipped back to them, and it took 30 days. So they hired this big uh, consulting company, and they brought all the MBAs in with all their, their portable computers and their cell phones and floors and floors and hours and hours and $750 million dollars. And after two years, they went from 30 days to 31. <laughs> and I told them, I can fail for 500 million. <laughs> Integration starts with um, our being integrated within ourselves. So for example, um, what about if we had our mind and our body integrated so that your, your mind stopped arguing with what your body looked like and how your body felt? Or what about even if you had your mind integrated so all the arguments you were having with each other, with ourselves would stop? Do you have those arguments? Like, get up now, get up later. <laughs> marry him, don't marry him. Uh, on and on and on and on. Um, or integrating the shadow aspect of us and the persona part of us. So that takes a while. And then... Once we're integrated individually, then we can start to be integrated in our relationships so that we aren't, our, our uh, relationships are not contests or they're not, I'm getting what I want, so I'll stay in the relationship. It's, there's no separation. And then it goes out from there. So you see, uh, this is meant to be really, really big. So eventually you can start to experience yourself not separate from anyone, and then you're not separate from anything, and then the idea that there's a you and a thing is, goes to. Well, so let me tell you about power and vocation. So, so someone um, is having uh, difficulty with power, which means what they're intending to have happen isn't happening. That's what I mean by power. I don't mean force. I mean the, that our intentions show up in the world. I think that. Uh, power, real power, is grounded in something deeper than what I want. And people only start to get real power when they ask, how can I contribute to the community? How can I contribute to the world? Then that's real, real power happens. Integral coaching is developmental. In other words, the point of it is for people to come to a deeper appreciation of themselves in life, not simply get to a goal. Yes, I'm in favor of goals. I have goals for this and that. But uh, the point of integral coaching isn't just that the person gets the new job or loses the 10 pounds or something like that. Is that they have a deeper um, develop? They have come to a deeper developmental level, and by attending to these six, we can come to that deeper developmental level. And the last point is, by attending to these, it's more likely that we'll have an integrated life, which again is the whole point of integral coaching.